वेलकम टू माई साइट कोड डायरीज यूर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सेलेंस यूर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इन साइट कोर एंड डॉट नेट दिस इज द वीडियो फ्रॉम साइट कोर हेडलेस जे एस एस सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विद जे एस एस आर्किटेक्चर एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी ओवर यू ऑपरेस्ट ए पी आई I am your host Jitendra Ghanekar. I am in Sitco Technology MVP 2024. I have given all my social media account handles on the screen. You can follow me. You can uh, subscribe uh, the YouTube channel and also on the Facebook. If you have any question, you can send me the uh, over my email ID. I have given my email ID also. So what we are going to see in this video? First of all, we are going to see a uh, layout service. then the dictionary service we will see what is import service the media api and the tracking api before moving to the uh, actual content of today's video let me request you if you have not subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing to the channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update If you are liking this video, please click on a like button and to share this with your friends and colleagues. And if you have not watched uh, all the old videos of this series, the previous videos of this series, I will I am giving you the the, uh, the link of a complete playlist. You can watch that. The link is in the description. So let's start today's topic. Okay. So in last. Uh, Uh, video in previous video we have seen the client uh, uh, client rendering server rendering and static rendering so today as we discuss uh, uh, that we are going to see a rest api in that uh, layout service dictionary service and other services site core and item data and uh, the import service so let us dive into an essential part of site core jss which is the layout service if you are working on headless rendering in site core this is the must known component so what exactly the layout service is the layout service in site core jss is a key component that enables headless rendering by providing layout and content data from site core to front end application So in site code JS is the layout service acts as the backbone for headless rendering it is responsible for providing the layout and contain data for uh, from the site core to your front end applications making it a key player in delivering seamless digital experience first let's talk about uh, getting the output of the whole layout for an item you can achieve this by using the following endpoints so this is the endpoint which you can use uh, for the uh, getting the complete output of a whole out output of the layout of for the item so in this item is your path of the item sc underscore language is a language of the item tracking whether you want to track it uh, the, uh, that you can make it true or false whether you want to track it or not sc underscore api key is api key now you must be knowing what is the api key so that uh, this is a unique id so of the, your application so that you have to use it and then the site name so you can sc underscore site is your site name so in one site code so you can have a multiple sites okay whether we define in the site definition file so for which site you want this uh, item for okay so this is how you use the uh, the the layout service uh, api to get the whole layout for the item now let's see okay, uh, how you can get the output for a particular placeholder so this is your uh, api url in that if you see there is a one change that you are using a folder name uh, sorry placeholder name here so whichever placeholder details you want that you can pass it here in the placeholder name so this is your uh, placeholder name here okay other pa- other things will remain a uh, same as you will be using the same thing in the layout of the item so those will remain same just a placeholder name that is the name of the placeholder so let's see on uh, the output of the layout service so this can be an example of the output of the your layout service it will have a site core as a main node then you have a context items uh, it will give the context detail then you have a route 
and the name of the item so name is a uh, home inside this name you have a placeholder so you have a placeholder here inside a placeholder what are the different placeholder you have so you have a main placeholder inside a main placeholder you have a first component that component name is hero banner and the uh, and then the uh, fields of that hero banner okay to so data source item here okay similarly for a contain block so this is what the layout service looks like we'll go in detail when we will do the uh, uh, a demo of a layout service for now for this video just this is the sample example of a json output of a layout service so this is the quick overview of a layout service in psycho.jss now we will explore another key component uh, in the jss uh, headless service that is the, di the dictionary service so what is the dictionary service Sitecore Headless Service provides an API endpoint for retrieving application specific dictionary data. So, in Sitecore Headless Services, this service provides an API endpoint speci specifically designed for retrieving application specific dictionary data. This is especially used for handling multilingual content in your application. To retrieve a dictionary data, you will use the uh, endpoint as this, where you have a site code JS API slash JSS dictionary slash app name and language. So app is the name of the application to retrieve the dictionary part, and the language is which language? The language to retrieve the dictionary part. Now let us look at an example to make it clear. Suppose you have an application called JSS React Web and you want to retrieve the dictionary data in the Mexican Spanish language, now then the URL will be like this. So you have a JSS React Web, this is your application name, and your Spanish language or uh, Mexican Spanish language is this. Okay, so this will provide you the output like this. So right. these are the phrases. If you see here, phrases, the copyright home and start a bootstrap those are the uh, your phrases the copyright what will be in the mexican spanish that is coming home and so this is how uh, the dictionary service will give the output so this is the brief overview about the dictionary service import service now we will talk about another powerful feature in sitecode.jss that is the import service the import service api in sitecode.jss is designed to make it easier to import the content templates media into the Sitecore CMS from external sources. So basically the Sitecore service API in Sitecore JSS is designed to facilitate the importing of a content templates and media into the Sitecore CMS from external sources. And this can be a huge time saver when migrating for or integrating with the uh, other systems. The endpoint will look like this. Okay. To use this service, you will need to send a post request to the endpoint with a JSON payload. And the JSON payload will some it will look like this where you are passing the uh, item name, template name, field, something like that. You will be passing. That is this is your uh, the payload for the uh, post method. And the output will something look like this where it will tell you whether it is what is the status and what are the items which get imported. <coughs> so you will have the post method and the content type will be application hyphen json. Uh, the json is a basically your post input uh, type. So request which will are creating it, it will be in the json format and it will be get posted to this uh, this um, endpoint sitecore slash api slash jss slash import alternately you can use the jss cli to perform the import with the command like so jss cli will look like this where you will can pass source you can pass language and you can pass a content type so this command let you specify the source path language and the content type directly from the command line and making it flexible option for automation and scripting so this can be an option for the uh, I mean this CLI can be an option if you want to do any scripting or automation then the uh, you can use the uh, CLI command this command for automation so this is a brief about the import service okay let's see now media API 
The Media API in Psycho.js provides an efficient way to handle and deliver media assets like images, videos and documents stored in the Sitecore Media Library. So if you want to retrieve the or if you want to use uh, the uh, media items in the Sitecore Media Library, you can utilize the Media API. So Media API, you can call it like this. Uh, you will have a media slash uh, media item ID dot sjs now this media item id is basically a media item id where which you want to use okay so let's take an example so this is your domain and then you want to display some image so that image may item id will be like this okay so that you can use it here and then this will show, uh, provide you the complete media which is this media item provides okay whatever the image which is or a document which is associated with this id so now i have given a simple example in the react if you see here this is the media url which is used and we are passing the media item id so if you want to display any images it will get passed the different ids will get passed and it will get displayed so this is basically you can use a media a media items or to media api to display the media items now the last api is a tracking api the tracking api in sitecore.jss is used to capture and send user interaction data from your jss frontend application to sitecore for analytics and personalization purposes so if you want to collect analytics data you can use the tracking api you can pass your analytics data to the sitecore analytics uh using the tracking api this api helps to track of various user behaviors enabling sitecore to deliver personalized content gather valuable insight about the user interaction so it is helping in your sitecore analytics we are not going in detail of this uh, in this video about the tracking api maybe we can do it some uh, a special video on this tracking api uh, in future but for now just briefing you or giving you an overview about the tracking api now the example is like this so tracking api is a basically a post uh, method so you have to post it so you can use this api slash jss slash track uh, uh, url and this the content type which is you are posting is uh, basically a json and this kind of a data which you can pass like event which event is like page you url data whatever the custom data which you want to pass it so once you post it it will provide you the message whether it is status is successful or failure okay so this is your tracking api all right we are done with the video if you like this video please do click on a like button and upload this video let the youtube know that you are liking this do share this video with your colleagues and friends who, are, who want to work on who want to understand the headless uh, uh, cms until now if you are not subscribed to the ch channel please do subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update Thank you. Thanks for watching.